The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Hello. All right, yeah, good night. Sorry about that. Was that an improvement on your performance against them? I think defensively uh, we've done it well. So we wanted to stay stable, compact, in a good organization. We wanted to frustrate Man United as long as we can. Unfortunately, it was not over the whole time. and. They were calm enough and never panicked, and then they used one of their opportunities uh, where we made one mistake too much, and uh, before the penalty we make an individual mistake as well. So defensively, I've seen everything what I wanted to say, what I wanted to see. I've seen uh, work ethic, uh, attitude, desire, uh, effort, togetherness. Everything what you have to show if you like to get something out of this game. Unfortunately, we were not able to create offensive moments. United were too focused, too concentrate, and avoid all our transitions. And I think at the end it was a fair result. Then he used Flo in a different role, and he, he seemed to adapt very well. Yeah, he played this position. Uh, Till he was 19, 20. He was a central midfielder, so he's used to this position even if he played in the last three or four years as a right back. So I've spoken with him about this position and he was totally comfortable with it. So uh, I wanted to give Aaron a rest and Danny Williams is injured, unfortunately, and then he was our solution and I think he did it well. What did you make of um, Reggie Van La Paris' uh, antics in the first half, David? Made himself a bit silly. Finding injury and then jumping up when the ball came to him. Yeah. Yeah, you just agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Terence Conlow, left back, David, he, he again had a very effective year. Yeah, absolutely. I was very pleased with his performance. He played the first time left back uh, for us, uh, very focused, concentrated. Um, he had at the end some offensive moments as well, so we know that he is more defensive minded. Uh, fullback if he plays on this position as I said this a few times before we are very happy that we have him in our uh, squad he helped us so far and he will help us in the future as well uh, on our way to survive Do you think that the performance today underlines the fact that even though you dropped into the bottom three there's plenty there to offer hope for the important games to come? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I don't like that we are now in the bottom three, but to, to be totally honest, uh, I think it makes it easier now because now we are the team who can chase the other ones. We don't have to look uh, behind the shoulders. We can look forward and this is what we do. We have known that these are difficult fixtures with Liverpool at home and today Man United in four days. Even if we wanted to collect something out of these games, we've known that this is difficult. Now, there are the fixtures in front of us, especially at home, where we have to create uh, the atmosphere which we've had today in the away support. We have to create in the dressing room, in the town, in the, in, in the, in the stands, uh, this atmosphere that everybody feels and sees, okay, they are ready to fight to survive. And this is what we have to do now in this very important fixtures which are in front of us against teams which are in and around us. Are there injury problems for Billing and Shindler? No, Phil was a tactical decision. Uh, Shindy has a knock on his uh, foot. Uh, there will be further investigations uh, to do, uh, to, to know more. He looks that he uh, could be a doubt. Everybody else, I think, looks fine. Lotto de Porter got some stitches on his foot where he got a knocked in halftime as well. But he well, was able to carry on, so I think... He will be ready uh, for the next games as well. What did you say at half time? Sorry. What did you say at half time, David? Because the first half efforts have been so well organised and well done. I thought I said that we have to uh, carry on. 
but we have to make sure that we stay as organized at, uh, as we has done in the first half and try to use the one or other uh, opportunity in the transition better and, and more brave than we have done it in the first time. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, then we made one mistake too much and they were able to score the first one and after the first one, and especially after the second one, it was very, very difficult. Maybe take Billing off to stop him from being sent off. This was one of the thoughts which we had here. What's your feeling about that when he, he said Rajiv and his behaviour? Is that a concern? This is nothing uh, what I like to see, nothing what we like to see, but uh, they are humans and they make mistakes. So I will have a chat with him and then we carry on. Nothing what we should make too big, I think. Okay. Thank you, everyone. We'll drop down for a minute. Just radio leads are in the tunnel. Let's just get them with the whole room to Thank you.